Disclaimers. 1. This video is not made in defense of April or Hyunju. I'm not here to prove to you that April are bullies and Hyunju is their victim, nor am I here to prove the opposite. I'm just going to give you the information that we know that was given to us by Hyunju, her acquaintances, April members, the ASP media, and their acquaintances. 2. This is not a commentary video. I'm not going to give my opinion on the matter at any point and will just stick to the facts as we know them. 3. My sources. I use the K-pop news sites All K-pop and Koreabu as my main sources. However, I also use the Instagram account The Otakunis17, who are an April fan account. I felt comfortable doing this because A, they posted articles that were favorable to both April and Hyunju, and B, because their main purpose was to translate information that wasn't being reported by the mainstream Western K-pop media and not posting their own opinion pieces. Four. This case isn't over yet. Even though it might seem like it, it's really not. I predict the more information will continue to come out in the following months. I decided to make this video even though I know the story isn't over yet because I have been following this whole thing since March last year and I thought a year words of information was long enough because otherwise this video is never going to be made because this type of cases can go on for a very very long time because they're he say and she said and there's not a lot of proof so people will just continue to say things know that i will continue to keep up with this story and i will update you in a couple of months if there's enough information to update you on but as of right now this is not the end of the case please watch the whole video before commenting don't attack any of the people involved in this case and have in mind that this case is still ongoing before we begin talking about the bullying, I want to put you guys into context, so let's see April's career before March 2021. On September 5th, 2012, DSP Media debuted the five-member group Purity, with two of the members being future April members, So Min and Chaekyung. The group debuted through the anime series Pretty Rhythm Dear My Future, which was co-produced in Japan and Korea. On May 17, 2014, Shiyun and Chaehyun were revealed as second and fourth candidates for the audition show Kara Project. On May 18, 2014, Domin was introduced as the project's fifth candidate. The other two members will go on to do other things, which led to the disbandment of Purity. On May 27, 2014, DSP Media aired their show Kara Project, which had the goal of picking one trainee from the company to join Kara. In the show, three of the future members of April were introduced to the public, those being Chaekyun, Shewon, and Somin. In 2016, DSP Media sent two trainees to the competition show Produce 101. One of them was Chaekyun. On August 18th, 2016, Chaekyun debuted on the temporary group IBI alongside five other ex-Produce 101 trainees. On August 24th, 2015, April debuted with members Somin, Chewon, Neon, Hyunju, Jenna, and Jinsul. The group made their debut with the album Dreaming, which had six songs, including the title track Dream Candy. The album picked at number 8 on the Gaon album chart and sold 2,542 units. The song picked at number 77 and sold 51,502 copies on the Gaon digital chart. On November 19th, DSP Media announced through a statement that Somin will be leaving the group. The statement read, April has been reconfigured into a five-member group. Starting today, Somin will be leaving the group for a new start. Somin has been thinking deeply about her future lately. She talked about this with us and we talked for a while. After much consideration, Somin would be leaving the group, but DSP Media will be continuously supporting Somin as her label's artist. Somin would later go on to re-debut in 2017 under the same company in a co-ed group named Card. On November 25th, April would have their first comeback as five with the single album Boing Boing. The album had two songs, including the title track Mwah. The album peaked at number 13 and sold 3,803 copies on the Gaon album chart, and the song peaked at number 134 and sold 14,055 copies on the Gaon digital chart. Less than a month later, on December 21st, the group would have another comeback with the winter special single album Snowman and the title track of the same name. The album peaked at number 14 and sold 3,483 
copies on the Gaon album chart. The song peaked at number 140 and sold 12,226 copies on the Gaon digital chart. On April 27th, 2016, the girls had their first comeback of the year with the album Spring, which had six songs, including the title track Tinkerbell. The album picked at number 12 and sold 4,919 copies on the Gaon album chart. The song picked at number 136 and sold 24,893 copies on the Gaon digital chart. In May, it was announced that Hyunjoo will be going on a hiatus for her health. They said, for the time being, it will be difficult for Hyunjoo to appear on broadcast due to her health issues. We apologize to fans who care for Hyunjoo about the sudden news. During her time off, Hyunjoo will be focusing on recovering her health. On October 30th, it was announced that Hyunjoo would, would be officially leaving the group to focus on her acting career. In a statement, DSP said, Hello, this is DSP Media. Our label's artist, Lee hyun Yu, will be trying out a new road, not as April, but as an actress. Accordingly, she has left the group and will be promoted individually. She had taken a break due to health issues. From the support and love she got from many fans, she has recovered her health. During her hiatus, hyun Yu thought a long time about her career path, and she relayed her intention clearly to the label, and we confer about her career path. The label decided to honor her intentions and decided she would be an actress. With this, we are planning to add new members to the original to the original April members, and they are preparing to release a new album early next year. We ask for warm love for Hyun Yoo, who will be an actress in our label, and April, who will be having a reorganization. Thank you. Hyun Yoo would go on to participate in the competition show The Unit a year later and become a member of the temporary group Unity. On November 24th, DSP announced through a statement who the new members would be. They said, The original members, Shewon, Neon, Jenna, Jinsoo, alongside with two new members, Shekyeon, who was previously announced, and trainee Rachel, will be forming a group of six and will start promoting. April is now a group of six and they are currently working hard to greet you guys with a new album in January. Please give love and support to April, who went through a new chapter. April will also return the love with great performance and music. On April 4th, 2017, the group made their first comeback with their third mini album, Prelude. The album had nine songs, including the title track, April Story. The album picked at number 14 and sold 8,086 copies on the Gaon album chart. The song peaked at 62, becoming their first song to enter the top 100, and sold 62,943 copies on the Gaon digital chart. On May 29th, the group released the single album, May Day, which had three songs, including the title track of the same name. The album peaked at number 9 and sold 7,250 copies on the Gaon album chart. The song didn't enter the chart, but sold 18,903 downloads. On September 20th, the group released their last comeback of the year, Eternity. The album had six songs, including the title track, Take My Hand. The album peaked at number 7 and sold 7,398 copies on the Gaon album chart. The song didn't chart in the main song chart, but sold 16,517 copies. On March 12, 2018, the group came back with the album The Blue. The album had six songs, including the title track The Blue Bird. The album peaked at number 7 and sold 7,162 copies on the Gaon album chart. The song didn't chart and I was unable to find any sales numbers. On April 25th, the group made their Japanese debut with the Japanese version of Tinkerbell. The song sold 3,438 copies and peaked at number 29 on the Oricon chart. On October 16th, the group had their last comeback of the year with the album The Ruby. The album had four songs, including the title track Oh My Mistake. The album peaked at number 7 and sold 7,070 copies on the Gaon album chart. The song didn't chart and I was unable to find the sales numbers. The B-side OAO was later released as a Japanese single. The song peaked at number 20 and sold 2,508 copies on the Oricon chart. On April 22nd, 2020, the group released the album Da Capo. The album had six songs, including the title track La La Li La La. The album peaked at number 5 and sold 12,104 copies on the Gaon album chart. The song peaked at number 40 on the Gaon digital chart. On July 29, 2020, the group would have what we now know as their last comeback with the single album Hello Summer. 
The album had two songs, including the title track Now or Never. The album peaked at number 14 and sold 14,408 copies on the Gaon album chart. The song peaked at number 117 on the Gaon digital chart. On February 28, 2021, an anonymous netizen claiming to be Hyunjoo's little brother took to the internet to claim that his sister had suffered from bullying at the hands of the other April members, minus Chaekyun and Rachel who were not in the group at the same time as her. He proved himself to be her younger brother by posting the family relation document, showing her name and her known birthday, alongside with his name blurred out, but his birthday listed. He is known to be born in 2004 just like the poster claims. He also posted selfies that he took with her. His post read, my older sister supposedly left the group to pursue acting, but that's not the truth. She was ostracized and bullied in the group, and she ended up getting anxiety and had breathing issues because she suffered so much. She even tried to commit suicide. My sister left the group and her label sent her a letter that claimed that she was living to pursue acting and told her to write it exactly. So my sister did that. After my sister wrote that, she got so many hate comments saying that she betrayed the group for her own benefit. She never got apologies from the members. When my mom went to the label, the members just laughed at her. Later that same day, DSP Media told Asia Today, we're still checking on what happened with Lee Hyunju. The next day, another netizen who claimed to be Hyunjoo's school friend made a post accusing all of the April members of bullying. Much like the previous netizen, she posted pictures she had taken with Hyunjoo to prove that the two knew each other. Her post read, I'm writing to clarify that all the members bullied Hyunjoo, except Chaehyun and Rachel. Former April member Soming hated Hyunjoo and started bullying her. Chaewon then relayed things Hyunjoo didn't say to Soming in hopes to make friends with Soming. Hyunjoo finds her tumbler, which was a gift from her grandmother, in the company's fridge. Turns out, Neon put Chunggong Kya in her tumbler and left it in the fridge for months. Neon took Hyunjoo's sneakers and claimed it was hers. She didn't apologize after Hyunjoo proved it was actually hers by showing her name on the shoe. Members said this bitch is trying to make her face smaller again. Jenna and Jin Soo continuously picked on her, tripping her up and stepping on her feet. Chewon was in a relationship with the group's manager, so the manager turned a blonde side to what was happening. After Hyunju attempted suicide, Hyunju and her mother visited the company. Members met them but ignored them and laughed with each other. If she really wanted to become an actress and didn't want to continue being an idol, she wouldn't have joined Unity. On March 1st, DSP Media finally issued a statement which read, Hyunju became our label's artist as an actress trainee. When April was made, Hyunju wanted to become an actress. We convinced her and she and her family agreed to be a part of April. After she debuted because of her physical and mental state, she had difficulties practicing in April's activities. Because of this, there was a lot of conflict and the other members also experienced damage. Everyone had a hard time and suffered, and we decided that no one could be considered a victim or the perpetrator. That same day, DSP released a second statement in which they spoke about each accusation individually. They said, On Jeon Somin, it's false that she hated or bullied any member. Somin and Chewon were training together for three years and were close already, so there was no reason for Chewon to bully someone else to get close to Somin. On the Tumblr, there are 40 to 50 Tumblrs in the dorm, and the members had put Duan Young stew in one of the Tumblrs for the members to eat at the label. Hyunju said it was hers and now apologized right away. On the shoes, the label brought two pairs of identical shoes per member for a total of 12 pairs. Four of the members had the same size, and this is just what happened because of that. On cursing the members before broadcast, it is false that a certain member was cursed out before broadcast. On their livelihood, the label checked the CCTV of the training room where Hyunjoon claimed she was bullied, but we found nothing. On the manager, dating the manager is a complete rumor and there is nothing she stayed silent on because she liked a certain member. On greeting Hyunjoon's mother, the April members realized it was a serious situation and greeted her silently because they didn't know what to say. This was a misunderstanding. Later that day, former Ajax member Jun Young spoke in support of April on Instagram. He said, while I was in DSP Media, I saw the entire thing that April went through. Hyunjoo suddenly stopped coming to practice and, and schedules were broken all the time. It's true you can be sick and weak, but then you should have quit early. But you wanted to do what you wanted and you wanted to take it easy. How can you live like that? You're not a soloist, you're in a team. These girls would cry until their eyes were swollen in the training room. If they tried to talk to her, she wouldn't listen. 
Stop saying that. No one just stood by and watched and that they were all perpetrators. He and you, the members really worked hard to keep the group. You only wanted to shine yourself, but the members put the team and their fans first. You were all young, so it was probably hard to hide. But how can they bully you when you refuse to listen to anything or talk? You were bullied? Please stop hurting people by just going with the ride. You and you, I support your future. I hope no one gets hurt. A netizen claiming to be Jenna's older sister made a post about the bullying allegation. They showed a picture of their family registration containing both Jenna and her name to prove that she was indeed related to Jenna. Her post said, There is not such a thing as bullying or outcasts in April. At that point in time, the members were just young kids who were unable to accept all of Hyunjoo's whims. Hyunjoo's emotionally changed actions were just another way for her colleagues to bear with the hard job as an idol. Hyunjoo claimed her health wasn't doing well and slowly started to miss practices. There were days when she did not return to the dorms. Hyunjoo said that she did not want to work and disappeared. As she failed to attend two broadcasts, the members had to stay up until the dawn to arrange the choreography and, and pull through a highly intensive schedule. But you still ask for an apology? I assure you, the one that thrown on television due to these past events is you. Was Hyunjoo really hurt solely due to the members? I also read the post from acquaintances that that listed specific instances and claimed the members were the perpetrators. I don't know just how much these matters were distorted or information was left out or made up. I know that that post was written without proof for a certain purpose. That's why I cannot just stand by without doing anything, as the misunderstanding and biasness grows worse in this aggravated situation. The members shouldn't be hurt more than they already have. On March 2nd, DSP issued a statement saying that they were taking legal actions against malicious comments against April after an edited photo showed Neon making light of a sexual assault of minors committed by Ko Young Wook. They said, Hello, this is DSP Media. As of March 2nd, we have begun a criminal lawsuit against a case involving malicious photoshopping and the spreading of baseless false rumors online affecting our artists. Our artists are currently deeply troubled by the rampant false rumors that are being spread out of hand. From here on, we plan on responding to any cases which defame our artists and spread false malicious content online with strict legal action. There will be no settlements or forgiveness whatsoever. The SP Media promises to do our best to protect our artists' rights. After being asked about the situation on Instagram, former Unity member Yoon Yoo said, I believe she'll overcome it though, it's been tough on her. Please stop harassing her over it. Apart from the people present at the time, no one else will understand the pain, so please don't pretend like you know things. Those who are bothering her with useless interest, please stop. The original poster who claimed to be Hyunjoo's brother came back on March 3rd to refute DSP's statement regarding the situation. They said, The company claims that while Mainuna wanted to be an actress, she was placed in the team after their persuasion. However, Mainuna had been undergoing training to be an idol. She was made an outcast right before her debut. She told the company her thoughts on the matter multiple times, but the company persuaded her time and time again to take a few days off and think about it. She returned in hopes that the bullying issue would get better, but that didn't happen. Rather, it became worse than before. During schedules, practices, and on her way to and from the company, there were many instances where she fainted. The members and managers knew she was sick, but they didn't bring her to the hospital immediately. I remember that they didn't let her take her medicine properly because it caused her to become drowsy, and it would get in the way of their promotional activities and practices. It is true that the company gave the members sneakers as gift. The member involved in the situation had a different design for Mainuna. However, from some point in time, the member kept wearing Mainuna's shoes, and when Nuna asked her about it, she said she bought it herself. After checking that her name was written on it, the member threw the shoe and told her to take them. They posted Hyunjoo's alleged medical record, showing that she had been admitted to the hospital on May 10th, 2016 at 11.38 p.m. The cause of admission was drug intoxication, commonly caused by overdose. Hyunjoo had been missing during music broadcast twice, dated May 12th and 13th, following this incident. Following this, Naon was pulled from her Donggush food advertisement. The company said, We have halted all post advertisements after being informed of the ongoing controversy regarding April's Lee Neon. We are checking facts with the company and will have an internal meeting regarding the Moto Promotionals activities. Other brands such as Samjin's Pharmacy, the fashion brand Justina, and Delicious Rendezvous 
follow their lead and put a stop to any advertisements containing Neon's image. She was also pulled from the promotional material for her drama Model Taxi. The production said, the filming for the promotional video was originally scheduled for March 2nd, but it's been canceled. We have changed the date to March 5th and we will reduce the filming to just two of the main characters, Lee Ji Hoon and Lee Som. Though Neon is a main character, she'll be excluded from the video. Later that day, DSP announced that they were taking legal action against Hyunju. They said, We met twice with Hyunju and her mother to act in the best interest of our artist. Even after a number of allegations made by alleged Hyunju's family members and friends. Hyunju insisted on her one-sided claim that she was the victim and demanded a statement that was far from the truth. Although we wanted to continue discussions with her despite her stance, the person claiming to be Hyunju's younger brother created another one-sided post. We have done our best to protect both Hyunju and the April members, but from now on we will be taking strict legal action against Hyunju and people who claim to be her family members and acquaintances, posting allegations online. On March 3rd, videos showing the girls being rude to Hyunju and Rachel started to go viral online, some of them garnering over a million views. The same day, a netizen claiming to be a classmate of Jin Sul accused her of school bullying. Referring to this clip, they said, I was surprised to see how Yoon Sul joked with the former member Hyunju because it's very similar to the way she joked with our elementary classmates. She used to make the same facial expression and glare at the classmates she didn't like and eyeball them. It's the same face. They also posted a photo of a letter written by Jin Sul and explained that Jin Sul used to make fun of her for being a fan of an idol group. The netizen explained, Jin Sul will always call me this idol group's Papa Soene and would laugh at me. I would always tell her to stop. I never understood how a girl who was preparing to become an idol can use the word to refer to an idol group's fan. The reason I'm writing this post is that I want to say that the memes and short videos of Jin Sul glaring at Hyunju is her true image. When these actions of yours were revealed, most of the kids from our elementary school knew this was bound to happen. I'm so surprised that you acted the same way you used to in elementary school, even after achieving your dream and entering into the entertainment industry. Suji, another member of Unity, also showed support for Hyunju. She posted a picture of her Instagram story with a caption that said, I hope I could become a source of strength for you. The same day, the production company behind the musical K School, which was starring Jenna, made a statement saying that they would not edit her out of the play. They said, We do not intend to edit out Jenna. She will appear in the film as her character, Amy. We recently came across the controversy surrounding April. However, the accusations were very different from the Jenna that we saw and worked with on the filming set. We have worked with Jenna since June of last year, when she was first casted for the film. She got along with all of the staff well and respected everyone on the set. On March 5th, Chewon was edited out of the thumbnail and the promotional video for Galaxy Safety Guards OSD featuring Peng So and herself. The video was later set to private by EVS. That same day, a pair of lawyers claimed that an acquaintance of Hyunju had reached out to them in the past in regards to the bullying allegations. They said, About a year ago, an acquaintance of Lee Hyunju asked about the current situation. He once asked for legal advice saying, My acquaintance is having a hard time with bullying in a group and I want to take legal action. The acquaintance was also a public figure, therefore I have to say that the bullying rumors around Hyunju are true. On March 7th, the drama Model Taxi, that had previously pulled Neon from advertisements, announced that they were cutting her out of the show completely and recasting her role. On March 12th, the photos of a fan burning all of April's albums started to gain attention. The photos were posted in one online community, which quickly spread to other communities and social media. On March 14th, Chewon's dad took to Instagram to claim that his daughter was also sick. He posted a photo of her medical report that showed that Chewon had fainted with basovagal syncope on January 13th, 2016 and was sent to the emergency room. She had then complained of headaches and other problems and appeared to have been hospitalized at the pediatric department on February 10th for brain MRI and brave wave test. On March 15, friends of Chenwon took to Facebook and Instagram to defend her. They said Chenwon wasn't allowed to comment on the matter by the company, denied the bullying allegations, and denied that Chenwon ever dated the manager. On April 18th, Jenna and Chenwon made separate statements regarding their situation on their Instagram accounts. Chenwon said, 
I wanted everyone in April to become good friends because I thought that we all had the same goal and we were on the same path. I have never intentionally provoked negative relations between any of the members. I especially paid attention to Hyunju, who was weak physically and emotionally. All of the members in our families had good relations, and I was also in touch with Hyunju's mother. I have evidence of this. If Hyunju has any dignity, she will remember this and the truth will come out. The rumors involving our manager are also baseless and unfair. There is no way that a manager can turn a blind side in their business matter, and during those days, our manager also endured a lot of stress due to incidents involving Hyunju. The struggles we endured during those days did not revolve around one person. We all struggled. Group bullying, mistreatment, physical and verbal assault, insults, attacks against character, they are all false allegations. Jenna then said on her now deleted post, each of us had points when we were so tired and fed up that we wanted to give everything up, but the members and I bit down hard and just survived this past seven years. We were all so young and wanted to complain, but none of us showed that on the surface. Fulfilling our given roles with responsibilities, because we were all so young, it was difficult to even care for our own health. However, I always felt that this particular member pushed us out. They always thought that they were the obvious victims in incidents, which involved everyone. And even when things happen unintentionally, they accuse others of being guilty. If it still comes to the fact that it was our fault that we were not able to care for someone who was so weak physically and emotionally, if it comes to the fact that this was the fault of even those who were younger than the member, then it is because of the merciless situation. Why are there people who are acting and talking as if they know what went through better than us? Were you there when these events happened? I'm just so hurt that the seven years that we worked so hard have become nothing so quickly. I'm frightened that actions that I'm not guilty of have suddenly become acts I've committed. Once again, I just want to say that there was no group bullying, mistreatment, physical or verbal abuse. The same day, Hyunju made her first statement regarding the allegations, in which she confirmed that they were true and that she had been bullying. She wrote on an Instagram post, Currently, my company has released a statement which is different from the truth and has taken legal actions against my younger sibling who is still a young student, as well as against my personal acquaintances. I was mistreated since I began preparing for my debut in 2014 until I left the group in 2016. I was 17 years old at the time and living in the dorms while preparing for the group's debut. I spent all 24 hours of my life with the asylums without anyone I could turn for help. When I couldn't take it any longer, I turned to my parents and confess what I was going through. My parents tried to reach out to the company's president, but all they got in return was criticism directed towards me. When the asylums found out about these events, their mistreatment grew worse. I was only allowed to call my parents under the management surveillance for short periods of time. And as the situation became worse, I grew smaller and smaller. The information which has come up to the surface is only a small percentage of the truth. In those three years, I was subject to constant verbal and physical abuse, mockery, cursing, and attacks against my characters. Among those, the insults against my grandmother, my parents, and my family were the most unbearable. The company witnessed all of these events, but only stood by and watched. They offered no help. Eventually, I fell into a dark place and attempted to take my own life, but I don't believe that they were the least bit affected by my actions. I left the team on the grounds that I would abide exactly by the story that the company wrote out for me, and afterwards I was labeled a backstabber, suffering from all kinds of malicious comments and attacks. I'm sure that not everyone in the world can get along with me, and people can feel resentful towards others at times, but I just cannot believe that physical assault and bullying can be justified under any circumstances. As of now, my company has offered me to halt all of my activities, and even those opportunities that were sent my way have been turned away without my consent. The company will not allow me to end my contract either. Immediately after, DSP responded to this, and they said, Hello, this is DSP Media. This is our label statements on Hyunju's social media post earlier today. The post is completely one-sided and is not the objective truth, it's just a twisted statement. Hyunju left April five years ago, but she and her family and friends have irresponsibly damaged the hard-working April members and the label. The members and the label have already received emotional harm as well as actual harm. The members wanted to reveal the truth and to be free from the wrong accusations, but we were worried that it would just be a repeat of irresponsible subjective statements and that the problem will be solved. So we want to reveal the objective truths through a strict legal investigation. The truth will be revealed through ongoing investigation. On April 22nd, 
Netizens started criticizing Naon's mom after a clip of the group's reality show resurfaced. In it, Naon's mom tells the girls that she cooked for them, and that even though she knew Hyuju couldn't eat spicy food, she still added a lot of pep a lot of pepper to show off her culinary skills. And she also mocked Hyunjoo's voice while explaining a recipe to the girls. On April 23rd, an alleged former DSP employee claimed that Hyunjoo was lying about being bullied. This person claimed that Hyunjoo underwent surgery before debut and tried to use that as an excuse to not join the group. They also claimed that Hyunjoo was hanging out with her boyfriend at the time she claimed to have attempted suicide and that she was not bullied but just didn't want to be an April member. They also claimed that Hyunjoo would throw tantrums whenever Somin asked her to train, which led to Somin leaving the group, and that Hyunjoo turned down multiple web drama roles. On April 26, Hyunjoo's legal representative announced that they would be taking legal action against this alleged employee. On April 26, video compilations uploaded to YouTube showed that some of the clips that had previously been used to prove the bullying had been edited and taken out of context, and they actually showed that Hyunjoo had a friendly relationship with the rest of the members. These videos continued to come out all the way up until June 5th. On April 25th, netizens started to suspect that Neon was the person who made the post claiming to be a former DSP employee. This, thanks to the handwriting of both of them being similar. On June 17th, Hyunjoo's legal representative announced that the police had dismissed the lawsuit that DSP had filed against her brother. The police decided to reject the lawsuit, taking into consideration that the acquaintance had personally heard the accounts of events from Hyunjoo and that several articles have already been distributed about the matter. The next day, on June 8th, DSP filed a complaint against Hyunjoo since she was the responsible for spreading what they called misinformation. They also said that they would be taking measures in regard to the lawsuit against her brother being rejected. The same day, Somin posted an image to her Instagram story of a book verse that said, I thought it would be okay if I lived my life being round and kind, but the world wasn't like that. When I was only round, I got kicked here and there and rolled around everywhere. There is need for me to have some edge. On June 11, Jin Su posted her own statement on Instagram alongside a photo of a birthday card written by Hyunju to her that showed that the two had a good relationship. She said, the reason I've been silent about the speculation and criticism until now is because of the legal steps we've been taking. We were also unable to release our statement and could only wait after long discussions with the company. I started with the company in February of 2015 and was confirmed for debut. Without time to get used to it, I had to follow the rules and routine of the debut team, and I was extremely busy practicing. As the members were confirmed, we simply practiced and went back and forth between the dorms and practice rooms, as excursions and days off were not allowed. At that point in time, me and most of the members lived as a group and started dorm line for a few months without knowing each other at all. In the process of the group getting to know each other, I rarely ran into the former member. She barely turned up to practice and did not come to the dorms often. We mostly only saw each other during our schedules. Because of that, I didn't have the chance to have many personal conversations with the former member. Despite that, there were definitely times when we both tried to get to know each other and take care of each other. Though it's only a portion of the time, it makes me sad to have to write this because I treasure the memories from back then. In the time I've spent with her and even now, I have never had malicious emotions towards her, nor have I acted maliciously. That same day, Neon wrote a personal statement denying the bullying allegations. She said, The biggest reason I haven't shared my position during this time is that I trusted in April and I was waiting for the company's response. I didn't think it was appropriate for an individual to respond for the whole team and I still think this way. However, I think it's my place to say something for my fans who might be believing something that is different from the truth to prevent further speculations. In May of 2015, I joined as a trainee when I was 17. I was only trained for three months before standing on stage in August. It was solely my responsibility to adapt to the unfamiliar situation that aroused. Since I debuted at a young age, I was inexperienced in many things and clumsy. After seven years of activities, I tried to show everyone Ali Neon, who is honest at every moment. Sometimes I was embarrassed to express my honest feelings, but I was able to approach to my fans because I received a lot of love. From now on, I will love myself more and be closer to you all as a public figure. I want to thank you all so much for trusting me and waiting for me up until now. On June 12, an acquaintance of Neon came to her defense. She posted a photo of herself with Naon as proof. Some of the points she touched on are 
that there were one or more difficulties with Hyunju, such as she often missed practice sessions due to her poor condition. The choreography teacher had to record the choreography and send it to her to practice separately. Hyunju always said her stuff is gone and someone seems to keep taking her stuff. She went to the CEO and said she couldn't live in the dorm, so she lived at home, but none of the other members took her belongings. Neon has a record of receiving intense psychological counseling at a counseling center for about five months due to extreme stress. Hyunju was jealous of Neon's acting career and only came out with these allegations because her own acting career didn't take off. The same day, DSP stopped listing Hyunju as one of their artists on their website. On June 13th, Neon's sister came to her defense. She said, One day, my sister called me, crying and telling me to come to her place because it was so lonely and frightening. While I was on my way, I was too scared that she might do something irreversible, so I was shaking all the way. I did not know that it would be this difficult to uncover the truth, but the company said that she herself stopped the promotions and that her mother had expressed criticisms. She also shared pages of Noun's diary with the goal of showing that her sister was also depressed, so depressed that she would not have the energy to bully anyone else. Some of the pages read, Jelly choreography, jelly recording. I hate it. I hate myself. Why am I like this? This world is cruel. I'm like trash. I am the worst. I don't want to speak to anyone. I want to shut up and disappear. I won't make anyone else sad. The same day, netizens turned the brightness of the photo up, and by doing so, they could see what Neon had written in the back of the pages, in which she expresses her hatred towards a person that people assume to be Hyunju. One of the texts reads, It feels dirty even just by being with this person. I really hope this person vanishes from my view. Later that day, Neon's sister was accused of school bullying by a netizen, which led to her privating her Instagram account. On June 16, Neon's sister denied this allegation, saying that she tried to contact the netizen, but the post on the account was deleted, and that she had filed a lawsuit against five people who were leaving malicious comments on her social media. On June 17th, Chewon made another statement, this time on the group's official fan cafe. She said, While preparing for our debut, Hyunju often said that she did not feel well, or that her body hurt here and there, and refused to practice. Even when there were mandatory lessons, she made attempts not to attend. Soon after our debut, on August 25th, 2015, we were headed for the hair and makeup shop before our scheduled music band performance, when we learned that Hyunju had disappeared. We had no idea why Hyunju was nowhere to be found and we were concerned that this would negatively affect us in some way on such an important schedule. We had to run through our dry rehearsal and camera rehearsal without Hyunju and we anxiously waited for her to return. Right before the live stage, Hyunju entered our waiting room saying, I still need to go on stage. Because of this, we were instantly labeled as a mannerless girl group who skipped dry rehearsal not even one week into our debut. Hyunju continued to skip our practices. It's true that we were tired of Hyunju skipping practices. However, we never excluded Hyunju in any way as she claimed. None of the April members were allowed to have personal mobile phones until 2017, but Hyunju was the only exception and she also had special permission to attend schedules while living at her family home. Many of you may say that these were the reasons why we bullied Hyunju, but that is not true. I did my very best to understand Hyunju and to match her personality, and she also told me that she felt thankful towards me. I would like to make things right again. I've endured as much as I could, and I just want her to know that the kind of attention and popularity that you earn from such an unjust method would never last you. I have gone through a few electronic devices that I had during my debut days in order to recover records of my therapy sessions, the messages that I exchanged with my parents and any other form of evidence I could gather. I plan to reveal each of these forms of evidence accordingly and explain clearly that the accusation strengths against me are entirely false. Because I want to prove that I am innocent, I will no longer remain silent. Up until now, I believe that if I waited, the truth would be revealed, but I cannot wait longer. Immediately after, people found inconsistencies on her statement. Chae Won claimed that on the 25th of August, Hyunju was nowhere to be found. However, fans pointed out April was scheduled for music band on August 25th, and Hyunju could be seen in videos and photos taken by reporters outside of music bank. Like the rest of the members, Hyunju was in full hair and makeup, which does not coincide with Chae Won's claims that she had disappeared at the hair and makeup shop. Shewa then said that the date was actually September 11th, however, a tweet from the official April Twitter account shows that Hyunju was there two hours before broadcast. Later that day, Shewon released another statement in which he said, The spread of false information and rumors had turned me into a bully who dated my manager and forced him to keep silent about the bullying. I am being treated as if these false rumors are the real truth. 
In the statement that I released yesterday, I was negligent in not checking more carefully about the exact dates involved. I am sorry. I posted in a hurry because I felt a sense of injustice after enduring for so long, and I am sorry that I caused more confusion. However, I want to say that there was not a single lie in the statement I posted yesterday. We are currently in the middle of collecting evidence that will clearly reveal the truth, such as photos and testimonies from witnesses. This evidence has to be turned over to the investigation authorities first, and there must be protection for other witnesses, so please understand that we can't reveal this yet. On June 18th, Hyunju updated her fans about the lawsuit that had been filed against her and her brother. She said, First, to quickly update you on what I've been up to lately, my younger sibling who is facing a lawsuit is still a student, and so my family is currently focused on handling this lawsuit. And even though I have not received any formal information from the police, I learned through the news reports that I have also been sued, and so it seems that I will need to begin preparing for my own lawsuit as well. When you accept your wrongdoings and put effort to correct them, forgiveness becomes possible, and at that point they might be called mistakes. So I would like to sincerely ask that you all stop your criticism and malicious comments towards the members, their acquaintances, and others. On June 19th, a netizen claiming to be Chewan's friend came to her defense. Some of the key points of their statement are, she never heard of Chewan being bad towards Hyunju or the fights between Hyunju and the April members, but she knew Hyunju didn't show up for rehearsal and that the members suffered damage as a result. Chewan never hated or blamed Hyunju. It's ridiculous because she rather comforted her by saying, I'm sorry, but I can help it, and we can do this again next time. Chewan hates being harmful to herself or the people around her. What good would such a person do to bully others? She said Chewan and Hyunju were not in a bad relationship. She saw the girls during a break while filming a reality show, Here Goes April in 2015, just laughing, talking, and looking good like any other normal girls. Chewon said that Hyunju is so pretty, cute, and feels comfortable with her because she's similar in age with Chewon. She and Chewon's family, acquaintances, friends, and fans are afraid and terrified that Chewon might have bad thoughts. She wants people to stop making speculations and malicious rumors about Chewon. On June 21st, the four April members, Chewon, Neon, Jinsul, and Jenna, had a sit-down interview regarding the controversy. They said that they stayed silent for so long because the company told them to do so. They explained the incident with the shoes, saying that the company had bought them around 300 pairs of shoes, and that sometimes, because they had the same size, they would get mixed up, but Neon never tried to steal Hyunju's shoes. In regards to the tumbler, they said that there were around 100 on the dorm, and that the one they used was a light pink color instead of the red one Hyunju claims was hers and that her name wasn't on it. They also said that that was the first time they used it and that Hyunju had never said that it was a gift from her grandmother or that it was precious to her and they did apologize to her after the fact. They said that they didn't know that Hyunju tried to take her own life because the agency didn't tell them and that they tried to help her to adjust to dorm life and even threw her a surprise birthday party. They once again reiterated that Hyunju would miss out practices and talk about the two stages of their Tinkerbell promotions that she missed after being admitted to the hospital for attempting to take her life. They said that they didn't know what had happened to her and just thought that she was sick. They also claimed that they were afraid of Hyunju and that she was the real bullied. They showed this Polaroid of them pre-debut to show that they had a good relationship. However, netizens found out that these photos were actually taken during the group's 2016 show, April's My Wish. In this picture, you can see that they are wearing the same clothes. They also showed the photo on the right and claimed that it had been taken during Chewon's graduation. However, fans pointed out that these were most likely taken during Jenna's graduation since Chewon had the same scarf and flowers. The girls also claimed that they didn't have their own cell phones, but Hyunju did. However, netizens once again found photos of the girls during Jenna's graduation in early 2016 in which they are seen holding their phones. On June 23rd, Hyunju's brother was found not guilty of defamation. The police said that they couldn't determine that he made the post with malice and that since the events of the statements were similar to the real events, that it cannot be considered false rumors. The ASP responded to this by saying, Some media outlets are currently reporting that the police admitted that the members of April were involved in group bullying and therefore declare Lee Hyunju's younger sibling not guilty. However, this is not true. Without any exaggeration, the full conclusion of the investigation stated the plaintiff was found not guilty as it is difficult to conclude that there was malicious intent or awareness that the posted content was fake. 
the April members never admitted to group bullying and the main reason that the plaintiff was found not guilty was due to the fact that the plaintiff was unaware that their claims included false information. As a result, we ask that you remain from reporting information without proper confirmation. On June 24th, Hyunju's legal team put out a warning to DHSP saying, we repeat our warning to DHSP media to refrain from causing the public to cause misunderstandings with their ambiguous statements and ask them to only make the necessary statements as required by legal procedures. The legal team also released details from the legal documents, which read, Considering the Lee Hyunjoo bullying was publicly known before the writing of the suspect's post, as well as no new abusive acts or content worthy of harm from the suspect, with the existing abusive acts specified in detail and the abusive acts not highlighted, and the fact that April is a well-known celebrity that is related to the public interest, it is difficult to see that the suspect's purpose was slander. Looking at censored, Lee Hyunjoo had indeed been having a tough time due to being bullied by the group, and the Tumblr incident as well as the shoes incident that happened during April's promotional were also overall true. The accuser, the person that filed the lawsuit, had also admitted to the incident's occurrences. Referral to records 67 and 68. Hence, the parts written by the accuser under the clause 2 Judgment 1-6 were things that occurred between Lee Hyunju and the accuser during their time as a group, and as it does not stray too far from the truth, it cannot be judged as a falsehood. As with the above, the accused is also in fact Lee Hyunju's brother, who had directly heard about the incident. Furthermore, as the content in the post had been reported in various articles, it is hard to claim that the accused had consciously created falsehoods while writing the post. Hence, it is not acknowledged that the accused has committed slander and the lawsuit will not be accepted. On July 9th, a now deleted video titled The Big Picture of Former April's Lee Hyunju, evidence to show that Lee Hyunju is lying, started to go viral with April fans. The video, as the title expresses, was poking holes at the story that Hyunju, her brother, and her friend had explained. Some of the inconsistencies were 1. When did the bullying happen? Hyunju claimed that she was bullied from the moment she joined the company in 2014. However, at the time, only Chi, Chewon, and Somin were trainees. Jin Sul joined the company in December of 2014 and the rest of the members joined between February and May 2015. Jin Sul herself had said in an interview that the group trained together for half a year, and since the group debuted in August 2015, that would mean that the girls did not train together in 2014. 2. Chewon bullied her to become closer to Somin. Somin and Chewon had both taken part in DHSP's reality competition show, Kara Project, in which they became close, so there would be no need for Chewon to do anything to try and become closer to Somin. 3. The Tumblr. Neon claims that the Tumblr didn't have Hyunju's name on it and that it was one that they had never used before. When Hyunju got mad, she apologized and washed it. The video questions why Hyunju left her precious Tumblr on the dorm with her bullies when she wasn't living there. 4. Fat Kerbal. Jinsu was accused of calling Hyunju Fat Kerbal during the Tinkerbell promotions. However, this was actually a nickname that was given to her by netizens. 5. Be Life five days before her suicide attempt. In the V-Live, Hyunju is seen playing with Jenna's jellies and drinking from Chewon's drink. 6. Dating the manager. Hyunju's friends claimed that Chewon was dating the manager and that's why they didn't do anything when they found out about the bullying. Meanwhile, her brother claims that the manager was living with them and looked from the sidelines. Also, the group had three managers, two men and one woman. The woman was the one living with the girls, and if Chewon was dating one of the men, then why would the other two managers ignore the bullying? On July 12th, it was announced that Hyunju would be part of the cast of the web series Heartbeat Broadcasting Accident. On July 13th, Chewon's mom took to Instagram to defend her daughter. She said, The recent complaints filed by Hyunju's acquaintances were dismissed, making it seem as if the content of their statement were true. The reason for the dismissal was because Hyunju's acquaintances revealed what they heard through Hyunju, so it seems that the person concerned did not have any false awareness, and the decision to dismiss it was made because the police had no intent of slander. I hope there is no misunderstanding. Firstly, there was the controversy about Chewon's false statement. Chewon posted two statements where there was an error in dates, which was actually an official broadcast. This was my daughter's mistake for not carefully reviewing the statement and how silly disclosing the date. However, Chewon did not make up something that did not exist. At that time, my daughter said, 
Fortunately, we completed the live broadcast stage, but we were told that it was the first time a rookie that just debuted missed a rehearsal. And this is something I remember her saying to me clearly. I remember that all of the members secretly used our personal devices pre-debuted behind the company's back, and they got confiscated around September. After that, as written in Shanwon's statement, the members could not use personal cell phones, and from some moment on, only Hyunju was allowed to use her personal cell phone freely. That is the truth that I know. As on MNES reality series, they only made phones to use during the show temporarily, and they were confiscated after. This is also written in my daughter's diaries. Chenwon was especially close with Hyunju, even pre-debut, and they both shared many things with each other and relied on each other. This is why when Hyunju was unable to attend Music Bank rehearsal, she tried to understand Hyunju and confer her, even though she herself was taken back. Chenwon's mom shared the below picture of her daughter's diary entry from 2017 that says, Today I was shocked when I realized Hyunju had signed up for the same Pilates lesson as I did, so I have to run into her every Thursday. She didn't say hi first, so I just decided to smile and do so. We do not have a good relationship, but there is nothing good about being on bad terms, so I hope to take this opportunity to be fine again. She further shared a screenshot of a shot room with the April members' mothers, who all congratulated Hyunju's mother on her birthday. The same day, a now-deleted video titled, Evidence of former April Lee Hyunju's delusion Paranoid of Harmful Damage was uploaded to YouTube. This video was similar to the previous one and continued to debunk some of the allegations made by Hyunju and her acquaintances. 1. Hyunju was sleeping on the floor. Hyunju's brother claimed that Hyunju slept on the floor of the lounge due to overworking during the Tinkerbell era. However, photos of the lounge show that there were multiple couches all over the place. Hyunju also only lived in the dorm during her time as a trainee and for a brief period of time after debuting, so by this time she would already be living at home. 2. The Rotten Kimbap Hyunju's brother claimed that the members put rotten kimbap on Hyunju's car seat so that she had to clean it up and because it smelled, she had to spray perfume on it. However, Chewon claimed that the kimbap was a gift from fans and that Hyunju sprayed perfume on it because she didn't like how it smelled. On July 16th, a fan of the group wrote a lengthy post casting doubt on Hyunju's side of the story. She basically just rehashed the points that I just explained from the video, so I'm not going to go into detail of her post, but you can find it and read it yourself on the sources that will be linked in the description. On August 3rd, a video comparing Chewon and Hyunju's medical record was uploaded. The video's main point was showcasing that Hyunju's record didn't show the full information, while Chewon's did, and asked Hyunju to show the bottom of her record. On August 5th, a Twitter account started to go through interviews in order to find out in which dorm Hyunju was living in 2014. From this investigation, they figured their rainbow, April senior group, moved out of their dorm on December 2014, which would mean that April members moved in in the beginning of 2015. They also once again called into question how Hyunju could have been bullied by Nao and Jinsul and Jenna when they joined the company in 2015, and why Hyunju does not include Chekyon on her bullying claim when she was also a trainee and friends with Somin and Chewon. On August 13th, a video titled, In 2016, is Hyunju's Tumblr her grandmother's keepsake? Was uploaded. The creator of the video found an old interview of Hyunju during Tinkerbell era in which she mentions that both her maternal and fraternal grandparents were alive at the time. They also ask why Hyunju would leave this precious Tumblr given to her by her deceased grandmother in the dorm with her bullies when she didn't live there. On August 24th, all six members of April returned to Instagram by liking the photos celebrating their anniversary on the group's account. On August 26th, an April fan who claimed they meet the group during Tinkerbell promotion left a series of comments under Hyunju's YouTube video in which they claimed that Hyunju had a bad attitude and that she was rude to her, the members, and the staff. On August 27th, an alleged former schoolmate of Hyunju left a comment under her video in which they claimed that Hyunju caused them to be outcasted for a year after lying about them throwing a ball at her during a dodgeball game and claims that there were more victims of this behavior. On August 28th, Hyunju got accused of undisclosed advertisement on her Instagram account of luxury brands. The next day, Hyunju took to Instagram to apologize. She said, I apologize for the confusion I've caused relating to the photos I've uploaded on Instagram. I plan to upload the items that I have added an advertisement tag separately in YouTube ads. So in order to avoid misunderstanding, I label them as advertisements in advance. Outside of that, the other sponsorship tag items are simply products I received as gifts, but I added those items to my photos to show my gratitude. I am an experienced in tagging and I'm sorry for causing discomfort. Moving forward, I would do so with more consideration. On August 30th, 
Netizens found a post from 2019 from a person claiming to be a classmate of Hyunju. They said, when she was in middle school before she became a trainee during the days when ordinary people were still in the world, she used to live in high class concept with the boys and made a baby voice that was strange. She asked the boys to get the school lunch for her and all the girls at school hated it. She just acted like a child whose life is a concept and even the people around her got tired with her. But later she left that group and said the company's president ordered her to sing in baby voice on the unit and she said she didn't really want to do it. On September 1st, an alleged former classmate of Hyunju left a comment on one of her videos, in which they said, When the bullying rumor started, I remember I tweeted that it's not true. The members weren't even there in 2014, but people told me to stop lying. With just one post, you made someone who works so hard with her blood, sweat, and tears as a bullying perpetrator and pushes her down the cliff, while you, Hyunju, with your bullying victim title, is climbing up in an instant. It really makes me mad and I'm worried about April members and Somin's mental state. If you feel that it's unfair, you should have explained it. On September 5th, fans started to suggest that the friend who made the post in February was the actress Yoon Jong-won, this after comparing a photo of her side profile to the photo shared by the friend. Yeonwon and Hyunju had been seen together on TikTok and she had posted a photo with Hyunju in 2016 in which she used the tags April and Pineapple, the name of the fandom, which called into question why she would use those hashtags if she claims that Hyunju was bullied since she joined the group and everyone knew it. On September 8th, a DC Inside post claimed that Hyunju had had problems with the unit members, the main issue being Hyunju claiming to be sick and going to sleep when it was time to practice. The same day, a staff member that worked with the group claimed that Hyunju would be late to appointments, which caused tension between the members and her. On September 10th, Hyunju became the most unsubscribed YouTube channel in Korea. On September 15th, Hyunju took to social media to explain the current situation. She said, I am responding to all of the criminal cases where myself, my family members, and or my acquaintances are being sued. I have been submitting as much material as I can possibly find. Even after I posted my previous statement, I have continued to receive lawsuits, so the number of cases have increased significantly. In the instance of my younger brother, a decision was made not to file a defamation complaint. However, the plaintiffs was dissatisfied with that, so the prosecution have decided to proceed with the appeal process. Regarding friend number one, they decided not to appeal regarding their defamation case. Friend number two has been investigated by the police for their defamation case and is currently waiting for a decision. I was further sued by DASP Media for obstruction of business. I received a police investigation and I made the decision not to appeal the case. April member A has decided to sue me even further for defamation through law firm B and is currently proceeding with the police. April member C has also sued me for defamation and is going through law firm D to do so and is also currently proceeding with the police. Regarding a cross-examination, I have never refused a cross-examination nor have I ever received a formal request to participate in one in relation to any of the case. Regarding my medical records, unfortunately I am not comfortable making them public. There is sensitive information so I ask for your understanding. However, I have submitted all of my medical records to help with an investigation so please wait for the results. My grandmother was in bad health at the time of the Tumblr incident and has since passed away. Even at the time, she didn't recognize me well, but when she heard that I wouldn't be able to visit her often due to my dormitory life, she gave me one of her own tumblers. This is why the tumbler became even more precious to me, and this is why I used that tumbler. In the case of my younger brother, there was a decision made to not prosecute him, since the evidence and the citation against him were made public after they were deleted. According to our lawyer, it may go against me if people believed that I was able to, pre to preview the details of the evidence. Regarding this, the decision was made public to show everyone that the press release revealed by DHP Media was different from the truth. However, we also took into consideration that the reveal of any detail, evidence, and citation could provoke another point of controversy to those who may be unfamiliar with the investigation. On October 28th, fans discovered that the makeup brand Peripera was once again using Neon for products sold via the retailer Copa. However, these were only visible while using the mobile app. On October 31st, Pedipera's advertisement of Neon appeared in the web drama Heartbeat Broadcasting Accident. This was noticeable not only because Neon was once again being used on their advertisement, but also because Hyunju was part of the cast of the web drama. On November 12th, DHP announced that Chaekyung would be appearing in the play Companion Life is a Picnic, which was to be performed on December 3rd and 4th. 
On November 30th, Chewon made her comeback to Instagram. On December 15th, Chewon and Jenna went on a live stream in which they once again stated that all the members were doing fine. On December 15th, Chewon and Jin Sul held a surprise live stream in which they both stated that they and the rest of the members were okay. On December 31st, Jenna and Rachel made their comeback to Instagram. On January 6th, the netizens who are previously accused Neon of school bullying admitted that they had lied because they were jealous of Neon. The XP Media said, It has been acknowledged that the accusations in the post were false and after confirming sufficient evidence, it was submitted to the investigative police and the police concluded the case. The accuser was deemed as having spread false information and charged for slander, to which she acknowledged it. She will be charged with the help of prosecution support. The accuser is reflecting on her mistake and showed her continuous wish to apologize to Lee Nao, and she personally wrote an apology which was conveyed to Lee Nao. Lee Nao has accepted the apology and decided to drop the charges. We wish to tell this truth to the fans who have waited for her unchangedly for a long time and supported her. Thank you. On January 7th, Nao accepted the apology of this person and withdrew her legal complaint. On January 26, the company RBW announced that they had acquired a controlling interest in DSP. The next day, DSP announced that April was officially disbanded. They said, Hello, this is DSP Media. We would like to inform you of the disbandment of our artist group, April. After a long discussion and careful consideration, we and the members have decided to disband the team and go our separate paths. Please give a lot of support and attention to the six members of April who will be setting out on their own paths, this time not as April members. In addition, thank you again to the fans who have supported and watched over April for the past six years. The next day, on January 28th, the members took to their fan cafe and social media to share their thoughts with fans. They talked about their lives before and during their time as April and thanked the fans for their support. On February 2nd, Chewon talked to her YouTube channel to update people on her lawsuit against Hyunju. She said, Previously, I filed a lawsuit against the defendant for spreading false information about me, including that there was bullying within our group or that I dated a manager. The police have since determined that the defendant was not guilty, and so I am in the process of filing for an appeal against the decision. Chewon then went on to reveal the details of the police report, including why the case concluded with the defendant being found not guilty. According to the report, the police ruled the testimony by witnesses including the members of April, the group's agency president, the group's manager, the group's former member and choreography teacher must be deemed unreliable due to their close relationship to the plaintiff. Furthermore, it is difficult to determine if the claim can be considered wholly false information due to the fact that a member's relationship to a group and their personal feelings are distinctly subjective. Therefore, it is difficult to confirm the truth of the matter objectively. Additionally, evidence submitted by the defendant including her diary entries, written testimony by trainees who were under the company prior to her departure from the group, etc. cannot be labeled as false. Finally, there was reason to suspect that the dating claim between the plaintiff and the manager at the time may have been exaggerated. However, due to the witness's refusal to testify, it is difficult to confirm whether or not the claim is true or false. Regarding the police report, Chewon argued that the police unfairly undetermined whether or not some witnesses were reliable, while others were deemed unreliable, under questionable criteria. Chewon also stated that the former manager who was accused of dating her submitted evidence denying the claim in the form of cacao talk messages. However, the police chose not to accept this as viable evidence. Finally, Chewon continued, saying, I made painstaking effort by gathering the testimony of many acquaintances in order to unveil the truth, but all that I received in return was the same not guilty ruling. However, in hopes that others like me will not have to endure the amount of pain that I dealt with while being accused of false rumors, I have decided to move forward with an appeal. I sincerely wish that the truth will come out. I have now learned that it is extremely difficult to prove truths in legal procedures. Nonetheless, I always spoke the truth and I have nothing to hide. On February 14th, DSP announced that Chewon had decided not to renew her exclusive contract. They said, as of February 11th, we have ended our exclusive contract with Kim Chewon. We have come to this decision after discussing it together for a long time. We would like to express our gratitude to Chewon, who has been active for the past six years under our company, and to the fans who have supported her through the years. On February 24th, the police dropped all of the seven lawsuits that had been brought up against Hyunju. Her legal representative said, The decision to not send the case against Lee Hyunju and her family has been made. It has been confirmed that the decision to not appeal has been made to all seven complaints. 
as the case against Lee Hyunju and her family has been closed, we will take strict legal action against malicious comments. In the future, we plan to continue responding in accordance with legal procedures to ensure that the truth is not distorted in relation to Lee Hyunju's bullying controversy.